We have breaking news. We are continuing to follow for you. Iran says 50 people have now died from the coronavirus as the infection spreads across the Middle East. Kuwait, Bahrain, and Afghanistan have all reported their first cases. Let's go now to Dorsa Javari with the latest in Tehran. Uh, Dorsa, this is a, a significant jump. Yes, not only that, but it just a few minutes ago, we've been hearing from the uh, elected member of parliament from the city of Qom, that is, of course, the epicenter of where this coronavirus was first uh, reported. He is accusing the health ministry of not being... Um, transparent with the official death toll. He claims that more than uh, nearly 50 people have already died from the virus in Rome. Now, this is something the health ministry has not confirmed yet, but it is something that uh, the health minister, the MP from Rome is saying has taken place. He says that also the number of people that have been um, uh, confirmed to have the virus is also much higher than what the health officials have said so far. Now, according to the health ministry, uh, the number of death has risen and has, as has the number of uh, people that have been uh, uh, confirmed to have this disease. This is something the Iranian authorities are very, very uh, cautious about. The president, Hassan Rouhani, has said that he's given the health ministry all the powers they need to control this disease. We've also been hearing from various other international airlines. Turkish Airlines has already canceled all flights in and out of Iran as of this morning. We also just heard from the Qatari health ministry that any people, any passengers traveling to Qatar from Iran as well as South Korea will be uh, quarantined for the 14-day period uh, as soon as they uh, enter the country. This is in line with what measures other neighboring countries have been taking uh, with Iran. They've countries such as Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Turkey, they've all closed their land borders as well. Uh, the officials here are adamant that they have the situation under control. They are asking people to be cautious when they go out in public spaces. All universities and schools have been closed until next week in about two-thirds of the country, as well as all sporting events and theater events as well have all been canceled. There is a sense from many people here that they need to be very cautious, and they also are not heavily... Um, secure in what the information is that is coming out from the health ministry. They are urging their officials to be more transparent and to tell the public what they really knew, know in terms of the actual facts that they have. So what more do we know? Uh, tell us, uh, remind us again what the source of the corona was getting into Iran as, as far as we know. Well, according to the health ministry, there were two cases, two uh, men who, uh, one of them a Chinese national who was working as a construction worker in the holy city of Qom, that is about 120 kilometers south of the capital. Uh, he was one of the people that died from the virus uh, on Wednesday. Uh, and then the second case that we heard from, uh, that was reported, who was an Iranian national businessman who uh, traveled to China, and when he came back, he tested positive and subsequently passed away from the disease. Those were the two first cases we heard about that were in the city of Rome. That was reported last Wednesday. Since then, health officials have um, said that the city is not under quarantine, but they are urging the residents of that city, which is about just over a million residents, to uh, not go outside if they don't need to, to restrict their movements to only what they need to do uh, to carry on with their lives. But all the schools, the seminaries, the holy shrine that is there has all been, uh, they've been, or people have been urged to stay away from those areas. The seminaries have all been closed, as well as the schools there. That is where we heard from initially this outbreak began in Iran. Okay, Dorsa. And actually right now, as you were speaking, there's a news conference that is happening now with Iranian officials talking more about coronavirus. Let's listen to that Miss understand the situation if someone died here or there they will say that uh, uh, this is due to corona no this is not uh, true this is a piece of wrong news and information and uh, we need to understand carefully that these uh, news that are really false uh, aimed at putting the officials in a critical situation. But we need to tell you that we are quite aware of all the information and uh, we have so many 
diagnoses and we have so many tests, but for the time being, it's not a sort of a political competition. No uh, political powers should uh, start a competition in this regard because the Iranian people should be and must be the winner at the end of the day over all these problems. I'd like to stress that we need not to give uh, false information about the city of Qom. The situation is uh, stable now in Qom, and some of those people living in Qom have left the city because they want to leave the city. And if we said such a school or such a university should not uh, uh, start uh, working or classes, this means that the people must stay at home, not to leave the city. I would like also to say that 20% of those who used to commute to uh, Jilan City cannot go now because uh, uh, the Jilan uh, uh, government rate has uh, some cases of corona. And again and again, when uh, a school uh, is closed or university or whatever, people should stay at home and we need not to exaggerate uh, the matters. We have two hospitals that are allocated for these cases and 80% uh, of the hospital capabilities are allocated for the corona and uh, other uh, percent is for the other things that uh, are uh, on a daily basis done services, medical services done and given an offer to the citizens. I'd like he to thank all the medical uh, people, nurses, medical staff here and there who worked in these governmental organizations because they are doing their job every single day and despite all uh, uh, the difficulties, they have families, they have kids, they have responsibilities, but they are always there to help the citizens and uh, they need not to go commute to their houses and come back to the hospitals. They have to stay there. And we have uh, paved the situation in these hospitals f in a nice way for the staff people to live and spend the nights in the hospital. And I'd like to say that so many cases were about to be released and discharged from the hospitals. Our doctors are working hard and sacrifice a lot. Before any question, I'd like to say that the government and the president and all members of the cabinet are quite committed to the responsibilities, the legal responsibilities, and also we will never give a blind eye to any mistakes or any pitfalls, and uh, everyone has to do his job. I'd like to tell you that uh, you need to be assured that anyone who died because of this will be declared. So listen to us. The figures are from us. The corona virus is there in so many parts of the world. We can face this virus. We need not to exaggerate because we need not to affect negatively our citizens and we need not to hit our uh, security. This is our moral responsibility. The Minister of Health has a spokesperson in this regard and these information should be reflected through the spokesperson of the Ministry of Health. On a daily basis we have these uh, tests and we need to make sure that everyone is doing his job in his position. In, in, in one of the cases, we uh, had uh, a trader who went to the Emirates and then he went to China and this man was the main reason to bring this virus into our country. The government is working hard. I need not to talk too much 
in this connection. So many countries haven't dealt with this virus problem in such a transparency that we follow here in our country. So many countries suffer from this, but in Iran, in our country, we need to be professional, we need to work hard within transparency, we need to work, we need to continue our approach, we need to declare the reality, we need to be always within transparency, and thank you very much. I have a question regarding the Khorasan govern rate, where you can say that the coronavirus is there. Is this true or not? Is Khorasan uh, corona-free uh, uh, govern rate or not? We need some information regarding Qom and Tehran. Has the Minister of Health discussed this matter? I would like to tell you regarding the previous one, the previous news regarding what has been mentioned and reported by the media one or two days ago. There were like 50 cases, and the news said there are more and more cases. But the reality is, if you love your country, we need to be honest, and if you have a piece of news, you have to follow the spokesperson of the Minister of Health, and things that are not officially declared must not be dealt with. If I know a piece of news, I will tell you, and if the death toll has reached more figures, then with even one case, I will tell you, and I will resign because we need to be honest, we need to be transparent, and those people are trying to distort the situation. Regarding Kharasan and other regions, I'd like to say that uh, the, we deal with the cases, we deal with the symptoms, and uh, we have all the abilities and all the capabilities to fight this virus, and if we have a case that is suspected, we will move it to a better place to be hospitalized. In more than 10 govern rates, we have the full capabilities to determine, to detail, and to treat, and we will say everything in a clear way. We follow all the govern rates, we follow all the cities, and even before the World War I, we were against uh, the decisions of closing whole cities or closing whole governorates because this has uh, bad consequences. If uh, you close the city or a governorate, what are the citizens there supposed to do? We have the information, we analyze the information, and if we find a decision that is good, we will apply that decision. We need not to exaggerate. We need not someone to say that the coronavirus is all over the place in our country. No, we need not that. We have to be up to responsibility, and we have to work closely with all agencies, and we don't agree on closing a city or a governorate. Mr. Darwishi. I have a question regarding the public health in our country where some medical staff and some medical personnel just resigned or uh, don't work properly. Have you talked to the media about this? Have you talked to the media about this? This is not uh, true because it depends on even the uniform. It depends on the dress of men and women inside a hospital. You cannot do that, and no one has resigned. For example, if uh, there is 
a case, a person that is hit by the virus, then the medical staff should deal with this case in a certain way, within a certain clothing or within a certain uh, uniform. Your Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I would like to seize this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to seize the opportunity. Okay, you have been listening um, to um, officials updating the situation that is happening with coronavirus. That was um, Iran's health ministry spokesman, Araj Harachi, and Ali Rabea, government spokesperson, updating the situation on corona. Um, Dorsa Jabari, our Dorsa Jabari is live listening in Tehran as well. So, Dorsa, the, the, the men were talking about emphasizing, emphasizing the importance of um, transparency. They keep assuring the world that they will give the proper numbers, but there still is a conflict between what the health ministry is saying and what an MP in Combs is saying about the number of deaths right now from coronavirus in Iran. So, what do we know? Well, uh, the health ministry has now confirmed the numbers that the uh, that local MP from Rome was saying. The health ministry has just announced that the death toll is up to 50, and the number of confirmed cases that they have in the country is up to 61. Uh, the other important note to make at this point is that this presser has been very interesting because it's the first official presser that we have had over the past uh, few days since the news first broke last Wednesday of the death of the first person in the country as a result of the virus. Uh, the officials in this presser, Ali Rabi, the government spokesperson, said their aim is to be as transparent as possible. Every day, the health ministry spokesperson has been appearing on state TV, on the phone, giving daily briefings and death tolls and uh, confirmed cases across the country. But the important point right now is we've just been hearing from that MP from Rome, who has become very vocal. Uh, he is saying that the first death occurred in the city of Rome on February 13th, and not as when the health ministry made the announcement, which was February 19th. So there is a gap, again, that we see between when the death actually occurred and when the health officials in the country decided to make the news public. This is something that is going to be very, very important because President Hassan Rouhani has been under attack con consistently uh, as a result of that Ukrainian plane, passenger plane, that was uh, shot down by mistake early January after the assassination of Qasem Soleimani. Those days that the Iranian officials denied having anything to do with that uh, passenger plane coming down, killing 176 people on board, this is something that will be very, very important in this case for Iranians because they now uh, are saying very different information is coming through from local officials in Rome and the health ministry, ministry officials and government officials. Uh, but what we do know right now after this press conference is that they are attempting to control the spread of this disease. They are urging the public not to panic. They say that they have the facilities, uh, the gear to deal with this outbreak, and uh, they are urging people to just caution, to be cautious and exercise um, the proper uh, hygiene steps that they've been t telling them on state TV. They've been showing people how to put on masks and to uh, remind them to wash their hands consistently. A number of public events have been canceled. Schools and universities across the country, over two-thirds of the cities, have all been um, closed till next week, and it will most likely be extended further at this point. We also know that a number of international airlines uh, have canceled flights, including Turkish Airlines. Qatar we've just heard that they will be quarantining people for 14 days upon entry into the country from Iran. These are all measures being taken by neighboring countries to try and limit the spread of this disease. But we can confirm also where this originated. The health ministry spokesperson said that they believe that the Iranian national who traveled to China via the UAE is the person who began, um, who carried it back into the country, and he has since passed away. He was the first um, Iranian national to die in Rome uh, last week when we heard that announcement. So a lot of information coming out. Also interesting to note that the local MP from Rome is making certain claims that the health official and government officials have yet to respond to. And you make a valid point there, um, Dorsa, that this is a time when, the, when people really need to be able to trust their government, and it's coming at a time when they have been very skeptical uh, of their leadership so far. Okay, so thank you for trying to clarify.